Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are playing Final Fantasy XV, but we've only got 27 minutes. We're not right quite there yet, we're almost at the point of being able to play it. I want to play it. No! But until then, what we're going to do is just play some Final Fantasy XV Judgment Disc. The Japanese demo that was released uh, a good week and a half ago. We're going to actually, oh, I need to actually close that and reopen it here. Uh, we're going to play the Judgment Disc that was actually released in Japan about three, two weeks ago and was pretty much like their last dish effort to increase their sales in Japan because this game's doing like pre ordered a lot better in the West than it has in the East, which is understandable because you know, how heavily mobile games and stuff have actually taken over over there. As games that are actually, if you're going to spend a lot of time playing them, they have to be in like smaller segments. These are big games. They're like, this is something that would have to topple Monster Hunter to be popular. Again, Final Fantasy for fans and first timers. Yes, yes, I think this is what we wanted. Ten years, man! Ten goddamn years! So Square Enix has finally delivered to us, and we're about 29 minutes away from actually getting to play it officially, legally, compared to all those people who got copies like a week ago and ruined it for a lot of people. Okay, Judgment Disc. Let's jump in here. So I don't expect this game to spoiler a lot for me, um, other than because mostly it's in, it's in pure Japanese, so all I'm going to see is like events. If there's anything visually spoilerish, I'm going to be upset, but I doubt they're going to be doing anything really serious, considering this is just a demo. But um, for the next half hour, we're just going to kind of like get used to the mechanics, see if we can navigate the menus in Japanese, and um, get ourselves prepared for the actual release of Final Fantasy XV. Oh, look at big old Nexus there. Oh, look at the little carbuncle. Oh, so cute. So cute. So last time we saw carbuncle was in the Platinum demo. Um, he was like uh, Noctis' little spirit animal. I've got a wild feeling that no carbuncle isn't actually like... Carbuncle, it's actually either a figment of his imagination or something to do with the ring he wears or some unbelievable titan that actually is like set, sitting on his shoulder ready to protect him or to guide him. Like, um, I'm your spirit dog, Homer. Yeah, like uh, the coyote, or I'm your spirit guide. Uh, played by, well, who was it that actually did the voice in Simpsons of the Coyote? It was, um, what do you call him? It was the, the country singer, uh, not country singer, like country rock singer. Um, Hurt. Uh, the, Oh God! I was trying to remember an amazing musician, but I just got my brain blanking. Oh. Did the cover have heard from Nine Inch Nails? Oh God! I feel so stupid for actually blanking on his name right now. Such a great, it's such a, it's such a great musician. Oh damn it! The weird thing is, I can, I can visually, I can see him perfectly. I can see everything he was ever in. Even like I, I remember him being in an episode of Goddamn Columbo where he actually killed a guy using a parachute because. Ah, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm annoyed now. Whoa! Okay, so essentially what I was trying to teach me there is the dodge mechanic, which is um, whenever you approach enemies holding down square, and you just walk around them. Walk around, walkie, 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 walkie. Oh, there we go, dodgy dodge. So the dodge in this game is simple. If you're not attacking, you can always be dodging, so you'll always warp out of the way. See? Easily dodged. I'm not even looking at him. Now if I just hold down the circle button, I do auto attack. Well, that was close enough. That was convenient enough. So now that that's all done and dusted, we move on to the next thing. Uh, it's like, uh, the mechanics of the combat in this are pretty damn simple so far. I mean, it feels very Kingdom Heartsy, but with um, like an auto commandy kind of like fill in. Oh, all right. So this is the parry system then. Yeah, obviously I need to block that. Oh, cool. So you get that little slowdown moment, and then you can actually dive in for your own little counter-attack. Boom. So you want to jump at me again, are you? Boom. Parry. Thrust. Thrust. Parry. So I'm assuming you actually retaliate um, while I was attacking. Alright, so that was like his little, not dodge, but he just sends you, kind of like moves me out of the way. Whoop! Hey! I'm wondering if there's actually like a timing mechanic for the hitting. If like if I hit circle again each time, do I actually get that extra little bit of damage? Do I get the uh, the trigger on my gun blade, essentially? Okay, that's all that done and dusted. So obviously we've got a combat tutorial out of the way. Oh god, we're not finished yet? Alright, what do you want to teach me now? 
It would help if I could read this Japanese. Oh, that was kind of close. Um, I am clipping through the wall quite a bit there, <laughs> which was um, obviously going to happen. I mean, they're not going to actually like cover for every surface, um, but I was like animating straight through walls. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I, I think they intended me to actually be like in a different position because the camera is half screwed here. Okay, so hmm, I'm just going to hope for the best. Top list was actually the good thing to do. There we go. Uh, no. No, did it ask me to do it again? Oh, how to do magic now? Okay. So we're literally getting a tutorial in combat. Which I imagine we're probably going to get as part of the plot anyway. Um, at least I'll know whenever I go into this. So triangle does your warp dagger. Whoa! Okay. That's kind of cool. So if I lock on and use it, I do warp strike. So, okay. Um, hmm. I'll just try and do that. Come on, let me attack. Wow, you're letting me take a lot of time to do this. There we go. That's you locked on. Uh-huh. Yep. Boom. That's convenient. So um, I can target enemies. <clears throat> Instead of using the R1 and then switching with the right stick, I can move from target to target. And then if I hold down... Oh, right, so I can actually... Uh, just target and send, so I can go all the way up here or so on. Uh, there we go. Boom. Hop! And I can just hang up here. Sweet. Um, so if I hit from here, and it's a bigger warp strike, BAM! And that costs MP. Right, I understand. Oh, there's MP drain while I'm hanging up there? Okay. And what is next? Square, square, square. So that's crouching, standing. Okay. Do I gain MP as I'm standing still? Oh, right. So as I'm standing still, I regain MP. So it's actually concentration points rather than actually uh, magic points. Which is understandable. And do I get it whenever I'm moving? I do get it whenever I'm moving. Alright, so sweet. So I can set you use uh, dodge to get MP back. I'm willing to bet that it actually, while I'm dodging like this, so um, if I'm dodging from attacks, it'll stop me from getting an MP and actually slowly take it from me. But um, I'm assuming I need to do this to build up. Yay! Do the Macarena, kiddo. Let's see, what else have we got? Some more about MP usage, I'm sure. I've got another platform to jump up to, have I? Hey! Boom! Whoa! Okay, that didn't work. Oh, that works for me. <laughs> oh, per dude. Oh, go up there. Boom. Oh shit. Okay. Um, screw it. Just gonna go attack. Whoa. Okay. So I can immediately attack afterwards. That's not helpful. All right. So if I just hold down triangle, I can jump up here to platforms, and then I attack him from here. Boom. Okay. What is that light that I'm doing? Oh, okay. That wasn't what I wanted. Boom. All right, that'll take me up here, and I can do this. Boom. Nice. So the whole point is to teach me that I do more damage from a distance whenever I um, warp back down to them again. Gotcha. Just looking at the clock here. We've got, what, 15 minutes left before we've actually got the main release of the game. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm assuming with all these tutorial bits, I might be able to skip some of them whenever I start playing into the full game. Which is going to be helpful. Is this still Gladios? 
it is. Is that circle? Ow. Is there a reason why it's getting dark? Did that work? Was that what I was meant to do? Hmm. Okay, so I can see the low level, <clears throat> well, my low damage is medium damage and high. So I know whether or not I would be getting bigger or lower. And different weapons for different directions. Okay, so boom. Yeah. Hup. And hup. Boom. Boom. Oh, slashing the shit out of your blood. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going up there. Hup. Okay, so what's this? Using touchpad? Alright, so it told me to go in there. Alright, so that's actually for me checking my details. So this looks cool enough. I actually like their... Um... Oh, what's this in here? Alright. Oh, so it's for equipping the different things for the quick equip. That makes sense. So if I actually want to move it to a much more convenient button for me, if I want to be able to switch to it a certain way, or have uh, a bunch of different weapons that I've picked up over time. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. That's that all done. Um, whoa! Eh. Oh, no, that's not good. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go up there. Um, that. Was there someone else I wanted to do? Is it telling me to change something else? Oh, right. That one's actually equipped. I can't unequip that one. Nothing there. No guns, no shields, no nothing else. So I have nothing to do there. Yeah. Um, ah, right. So it's actually to get me to try a different attack. Whoa, whoa! So I can only hold on for so long because I'm exhausted. That makes sense. Boom! Oh! 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 I like these big swords, big little hefty swipes, but um, I imagine that I'm pretty much like not invulnerable in that gap in between. I'm heavy weapons guy. What do you ask me to do now? Defeat him with all the skills I've learned? Why the heck not? Okay, you just cast something on me. Oh, I got magic. Oh no, I got you. So you want me to put it in there? Yeah? Yeah? Is that what you wanted me to do? You want me to put someone in there? Yes, you did! Haha! -ha. That's that done. And so then I build up my magic. And I do this, and I do this. Hey! Hey! Oh, the magic effects are actually kind of nice. I like the way the flames work. I didn't really like how they worked in uh, Platinum Demo. The way you were kind of like tossing them into an AoE. But now you can just target and throw. It's a lot faster. And then, of course, you can uh, throw them in other ways. You can target and just throw them. But uh, I think I'm just probably going to be R1-ing, throwing it, and then dodging into the attack. Uh, I'll probably stick with like melee weapons more than magic if I can. I guess you give me 15 of something, right? Okay, what was it 15 of? Hmm? Okay, Charbuncle, you're an interesting lad, but, um, boom, fire! Do I have other magic? Ooh, what's this? This is, uh, oh, okay, so it gives me how many counts of spells I've got. Okay. Oh, no, God, no, that's what, not what I wanted. What did I just do? Damn it! Oh! Oh! Is this actually kind of like the element up song? Alright! That's interesting. I don't have anything to craft in with that, do I? Um, nope, none in there. 
So yeah. So this is like the crafting menu to make more of another item. Okay, and then do that. And that made times three of something. Oh, interesting. So now I've got some ice magic that I can try out. Okay. Well, let's try you. Oh, this one actually needs time to charge. Oh, I need to wait for it to recharge. Well, <laughs> you jump over here then, lad. Guess what? I'm waiting for your ass. Come on. Walk through the flames. I bloody dare you. Or does that make it build up faster, maybe? Oh, dodge! <laughs> oh, wow, it hits me too! I need to be more careful about that. So imagine it actually adds a slow effect to the person as well. Oh, do I, can I creep around corners and stuff as well? Ah, there's a sneak mechanic. Boom! Freezy good. Boom! Done and dusted. All right. So I can get that now. So there's a cooldown on spell usage because it's an action oriented game. Makes sense. Bigger the spell, longer cooldown. I imagine that's going to be the case with um, things like um, like death spells, which seem to be very overpowered in some of the trailers that I saw of the game. What are we sitting at now? Oh, only 10 minutes to go. Just 10 more minutes to go. Just 10 more minutes to go. Ah, Prompto! <laughs> You're really skid in, man. Yeah. So I can give commands to my teammates, I'm sure. So this is probably for um, double moves. So square and what? Whoa! I like how that works. I was actually sitting there in silence for a second because essentially with my parry attacks, if there's somebody, someone of my teammates nearby and I have a skill sign to them, they'll slide in for a quick attack as well. So imagine whenever I've got the team of four together and I've leveled them up, like the teamwork and the synergies between them a little bit, I'll actually have like Cartergy now prepared to fucking die. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, so L trigger. Alright. So L trigger and to the left. Oh! Boom! I like that. So essentially Prompto can actually, or everybody can be probably called in to do an attack. And then of course that'll be in the sphere grid that will actually get all that stuff kind of like layered, laid down in. Getcha! I getcha, man! This game's actually feeling quite comfortably intuitive. And then, of course, it shows you that you could build up better ones in online. Whoa! Damn! And a pinch. And a pinch. So, whenever you're in a pinch, I need to recover. Oh. Oh, so my buddies are actually my healy healers as well. Right, so they run. If I limping away, they'll immediately try to heal me. It makes sense, I suppose. I mean, one of the parts and parts of things. Oh. I need to get to him now, I think. Aye. So I run over to him. Hey, buddy, come here. I got you. So essentially it's a wee tag you're in kind of thing. Okay. So as long as you can tag your teammate and they don't actually go to the ground unless they're properly, like, down-downed. In that case, you probably have to Phoenix pinion them or so on. But, um, yeah. I get that. So you can call for an R2 heal. So, okay. So the R2... What can we do? R1?
R2. Oh, R2. And yeah. All right. So R2 is actually item usage. Um, I've got to be careful. Um, this is one of the things with this control pad that I have. The R2 button jams on it, so um, it's not the usual. Whoa. All right. So was that what it was meant to do? So it feels like I'm still not getting this. All right, so I had to go through all the items on combinations, like who was actually being given them. So that's how you actually end up using items. R2 is your quick items list, um, which is usually healing for ether and uh, HP. Well, HP and MP. Oh, I need to put that down because I'm actually kind of twisting myself to sit down properly in this setup. Uh, right, where are we next? Or what have we next? All right. L1. Oh, use skills? Okay. What? You gonna take a swing at me? Come on, you Kingdom Hearts looking motherfucker! <laughs> oh, no, I didn't get that one right. That wasn't smart. Uh, okay, so I'm not really quite getting this. <laughs> oh yeah! So I get it. So he essentially like immediately attacks for me on one attack on one hit. So whenever I, he blocks it for me, that's pretty convenient. It's actually like looking out. Ah oh, no, I missed it again. Um, let's see. Uh, now those are just healing items. So I want to get them to. Oh, I'm going to use that on myself. Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting to use a spear now. Boom. There we go. And I like the power link to actually work that time. So I think it's actually I need to um, block it, time it so that whenever they're nearby. All right. So I'm sure there's actually much more to learn about that particular technique. But I managed to actually crawl through that fight anyway. Uh, five minutes down, five minutes, five minutes. Come, we got time for another section here. All right. Obviously, this is the save games, is it? Yeah. So we can go into that menu if we need be. Uh, what else we got? So we've pretty much done tutorial parts here. I hope we, I can skip these tutorials. Oh, so this is actually Final Fantasy 15 starting now. Oh. <laughs> so we got um. Hmm. I'm actually anxious to play the full game now because I'm looking at a black screen with five minutes left to go. I'm going like, how long is this going to take to load? Is I might as well I close this down and count down with you guys for the last few seconds and see if this thing works. Because I've got an absolute feeling that no matter what, as soon as it goes live, I'm going to have to download a patch. I know version 1.02 is out. I know the cutscenes were added. I know I've had it preloaded for a couple of days, so it's had time to pull down the updates. But I've got that that unbelievable feeling that I cannot play it at the moment of launch. I'm going to have to actually download a patch. Just know it. I just know it. Is that... That's Noctis as an... What the hell? Jesus. What the fuck? Right. I'm confused as hell. What the 
oh fuck <laughs> literally you just fast forwarded to the last boss fight where we're fighting god himself previously on bro trip <laughs> oh man oh i'm so unbelievably hyped so oh wait is this the shield oh this one the shield was still active Uh, so, approaching the time of uh, Luna Frey and Noctis' marriage, I think his father sends him and his bro his brotherhood, his friends, out of town. Like, I think that's basically what the premise of this intro is. And while this happens, of course, um, that's whenever the peace accord and the attack on his home is made. And that's the plot of Kingsglaive, which is like pretty much the events that happen right after this cutscene. I'm so glad the cutscenes are of equal quality to the movie because it means the movie scenes can be just... We're, we're probably just slotted right in where they needed to be in parts of this. Oh, man. This is damn cool. Uh, that's a real looking father. It's crazy. I mean, I really enjoyed Kingsglaive. I enjoyed the hell out of that movie. Um, mostly because it's just it's a decent CGI flick. I've seen a fair few over the years, uh, from Blue Skies to Appleseed EX. I mean, there's like a lot of a lot of good CGI action movies out there. It's just Kingsglaive actually kind of had... It actually had an um, encouragingly interesting story. The plot and the characters were... The plot was good. Whenever it wasn't about the main character of the movie, the main character of the movie, as played by Jesse Pinkman, is um, he's he, he doesn't have a lot of context, and his character there's characters in it that seem to go in and go out that are not going to be involved in the game because they're too separated off. But I imagine we're going to run into some of these characters along the way because one of them is going to be, of course, protecting Luna Freya and that kind of crack. But um, the father. The father, you get a lot about him. So I think the movie really is about getting to know Noctis' dad and whether or not you actually can like this dude. But I think we all fell in love with him actually in earlier trailers whenever he's actually like... The, the, these moments where like with his son. I think there was actually... Uh, one of the earliest trailers was him creating his son in his arms and then holding up a shield to protect him from like a bunch of swords. Um, there was like just some really nice little contextual bits. And in this movie, the whole thing is really just he wants happiness and peace. Oh, there we go. The Big Bang theme can now be used. So the Big Bang theme can now be used because the game can now be used just in time for Chapter 1. We are getting the hell out of here and going straight to the full game, guys. Um, yeah, that was really interesting and all. I'm glad I got to play the Judgment demo. But we have got real game to play now. Get the hell out of my face. Demo time. Oh, man. We counted down the clock. We waited and we waited and we waited. Here it is. <laughs>